Chevrolet says find new roads, but Payne Chevrolet customers are just fine with the road to Springfield that they've been traveling for the last 90 years. And I know they're doing something right for a company that's been around since 1926. Celebrate 90 years of value and honesty during our month-long anniversary celebration. I love Payne Chevrolet. No better people in the world. 90 years young and we're just getting started. Payne Chevrolet in Springfield. Nine decades, three generations, one tradition. Smokey Bar News stopped by the Robertson County Republican Party headquarters Tuesday evening as they were beginning to tally up win after win for Trump. Uh, we're buoyant, uh, you know, just really excited. Uh, we remember what it was like four years ago, and we feel a lot more confident tonight. Your thoughts, Karen? Oh, I agree. I think everybody here is looking forward to a victory. As we look at the um, results that have been reported from the various states, it really looks like it's lining up to be a good, solid victory for Donald Trump. Do you concur? Do you feel like Trump's going to take it tonight? I sure hope so. But I, I'm con I, I feel good, uh, but uh, cautiously optimistic. What was the mood of the room when he took um, Florida and North Carolina? Kind of like a Super Bowl touchdown. That was a surprise, was it not? Well, I think Florida was probably a surprise for some people, but I think I think some of us considered that it was in play. And, you know, when they announced North Carolina, the room just erupted. And we had probably, we lost about half of our crowd after they announced uh, Florida and North Carolina because at that point, really, he's on a pretty a pretty good path to reach 270 270 votes. So you, you had a couple of predictors. Well, you know, one of the things that I took a look at is I saw the polls didn't really line up with what we thought public opinion was. You know, Trump is playing to 10,000 people at an arena and Hillary has a thousand people come out. So I started watching String Logic and rather than a poll, it's really a scouring of the internet, what public comment is, what people are saying. And consistently the results of String Logic predicted this Trump victory. And so I put a lot of stock in that. I thought it was much better than polls. It, you know, I think what we're seeing the result tonight has really been what a lot of us saw during the campaign. It, again, the enthusiasm that Donald Trump generated every time we turned around and saw one of his rallies on TVs, there were literally thousands or tens of thousands of people there every place he would go and so I don't think you know when you stop and think about it the only thing that's a surprise about this election is that the polling kept showing it so close I think it's opened up to be a much stronger victory than probably anybody predicted except for string logic well here's the $24,000 question now, what do you think Trump is really going to do on his first day you think he's really going to kill Obamacare no, I th Trump has a fantastic 100-day agenda. He outlined 28 points that he wants to achieve in his first 100 days. It's very substantive. It didn't get a lot of play in the media. I had a chance to read it and read through it. I was really, really impressed. And everything on that list, all 28 items, are things to get excited about. So I have no doubt that Donald Trump is going to hit the ground and hit it hard. I think hard. so. That sounds like I, he's going to die. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think he's going to uh, work hard to do these things. I suspect he's going to find it is a little more difficult for him to get it done than he thinks, but uh, I think he's going to work very hard at it. Throwing political correctness in the garbage, why do you think he's doing so well right now? Donald Trump is appealing to so many people because they're frustrated with Washington. They're sick of Washington politicians who can't get anything done. You know, one of his hashtags for this campaign has been drain the swamp, and that's something that has almost universal appeal. Whether you're Democrat or Republican, you're tired of people in Washington messing things up and making your life miserable. A lot of people don't realize Donald Trump is exactly what they've been wanting. They want someone who speaks his mind. They want someone who's not politically correct all the time. They want someone who's an outsider who promises change, and a lot of people who are actually asking for these things are failing to recognize it in Donald Trump. So um, I think Donald Trump has a very aggressive 100-day agenda. He's got a 28-point item. I think he's going to attack it, attack it hard. He's going to hit the ground running, but he is going to discover that government sometimes moves at a little bit slower pace than business. So the key is going to be for him to stay focused and not get frustrated by having to work with Congress and go ahead and push these things through. They're all conservative ideas. They're things that all of us can buy into, and I think it will really help the country if he does it. Buying a house is one of the biggest decisions you can make in your life. But it doesn't start with a signature. It starts with a great relationship with a realtor you can trust. 
Tennessee Realty Partners has over 200 years of combined real estate experience, and our company is service-driven. With a history dating all the way back to 1978, Tennessee Realty Partners is here with the latest technology to serve your needs, whether you're buying or selling your home. So when it's time to make those tough decisions, remember that Tennessee Realty Partners is here and ready to serve your needs. The final decision is, of course, up to you. But getting you there, well, that's our job. We're Tennessee Realty Partners. Because remember, it doesn't start with a signature. It starts with a great realtor that you can trust. Tennessee Realty Partners.